Okay, since I'm having issues with synchronization between the picture and the sound, I will just remove the camera and uh, proceed with audio only, and I hope everything will be clear. Okay, so the first thing we will start with is to familiarize ourselves with the Asia sheet. Uh, if we look at the sheet here, we can see that, and what I like really about the sheet is that it includes everything we need to know. So there's very little memorization that we need uh, to do. First off, uh, we will find that we can summarize the results of all testing we did last time. So uh, this part of the sheet is for the right side of the body, and this here is for the left side of the body. On the right side, we can see that we have here space to enter the um, uh, five uh, sc the scores for the MMT testing we did for the five myotomes of the upper limb. So here, C5 elbow flexors, C6 wrist extensors, and so on until T1. And the same thing here for the lower limb. So it's L2 through S1. And next to each one, we can see that we have the muscle that we tested for. So this is for the right side and same thing for the left. This is for the MMT. Next, uh, we can see for the um, sensory examination. So here we have the uh, two long columns. This is for light touch and next to it is for pen prick. Okay, and um, here we put the results of the sensory examination that we did for all the dermatomes. And um, to remind ourselves of the key points within the dermatomes, we have those figures here in the middle to help us remember the key points. Um, so the um, uh, dermatome is shown, and within it, the point here in the uh, dermatome corresponds to the key point that we need to do the testing on. Another thing uh, we need to pay attention to is that here we have the uh, grading uh, criteria for the motor and for the sensory exams. So if we need to re quickly review them or something, we have them here. And actually on the second page of the sheet, which I showed you now with all the instructions, it has more details about the uh, sensory and motor uh, scoring uh, criteria. So basically, we will be doing the test for our patient, and on each cell here, we will be filling the score that they obtained. For example, if we say, for example, the patient got five here, they got uh, four here, and so on for all the myotomes and for the dermatomes. Now, we need to um, add one important information about the scoring, which is, if we look, for example, at the motor exam, Okay, so this is the uh, motor uh, score here. Okay, so it's uh, the usual one, uh, zero through five that we discussed. Uh, we need to uh, know that there are two other uh, uh, things that we can score, which is empty, not testable, or we could add a star next to any score we obtain, uh, zero through four, or for the NT. So what do these mean? The NT is actually when the body segment is not testable. So we are doing, say, for example, C5, and we are unable to test the uh, elbow flexors, then we will put the score NT. Why would some segments be not testable? Uh, this can be due to something that happened, like for example, immobilization. So the, uh, for some reason, for example, the physician says that um, the shoulder is not to be moved, for example, or the elbow, and uh, the patient is immobilized, um, then uh, we, uh, we cannot test the myotome, so we say it's NT. Or for example, if the patient has very severe pain that we are unable to do the test, or uh, if there's amputation, for example, so there is no um, rest or foot to test, then we put NT. Or if the patient has contracture, that affects more than 50% of the range of motion. Now, the other thing is the start. Say, for example, that the patient had, uh, in addition to the spinal cord injury, a prior injury or a current injury, concurrent to the spinal cord injury, that caused, for example, um, a fracture of the humerus or radius that affected one of the uh, peripheral nerves and caused um, 
weakness, let's say, of the rest extensors. So we know that the um, rest extensors are weak, but not because of the spinal cord injury, but because of the peripheral nerve injury that happened with the uh, injury or the patient has. In this case, we will test the muscle, but we will put a star next to the score that we get uh, to indicate that this is not due to the uh, spinal cord injury. So if we go back to the sheet, we can see that for the MMT, the scores will range from 0 to 5, or the score can be NT, not tested, or the score can have a star next to it, indicating that the patient has um, a non-spinal cord injury um, a weakness. Same thing for the sensory exam. So if we look at the sensory exam, we discussed that it's 0 through 2, absent, altered, and normal. And again, we can say NT when the sensory exam is not testable. Say, for example, the patient has um, cast uh, or, for example, a trunk, um, a, a, a trunk brace, thoracolumbar brace. Uh, because of this brace, we will not be able to test the um, dermatomes of the, um, of the trunk. In this case, we will say NT next to the dermatomes of the trunk. Or if the patient has a non-spinal cord injury condition that caused impairment to the skin, the, uh, to the sensation, sorry, then we will put um, the star next to the, um, uh, next to the score that the patient got. So here is the uh, clarification of it. Um, uh, NT, not testable, and the star is with the abnormal sensation. Um, so that in this case, we need to take these two points into consideration when scoring the Asia sheet. So basically, what we do here is that we do the scoring and we fill it on the sheet in the specified space, and uh, there is a comments box uh, on the sheet itself. So if we look here, this is the comments, comments box, where we will say, for example, if we tested monkey muscles, uh, and these are muscles other than the 10 muscles here listed, so we can uh, report them here. Or for example, if we have NT or if the patient has pain or something, then we would specify those um, in the comments box.